caught up with Bill Riddle, who emceed the banquet at the NCHA 2015 convention last night. Great job, Bill. Thank you. Thank you. I had a lot of fun. Well, now, you seem to have a relationship, a connection, a story about just about everybody that you talked about last night. Well, the, the good news last night was those were the guys that, that I've known for a long, long time. Uh, some of those trainers that we put into the Riders Hall of Fame were before my time. But we did a little research on those guys, too. And, and uh, I've known a lot of those guys for a long time, and we've had a great relationship. And, and those stories are, are true. They're not something we've made up. They're, they're, they're true, and they're fun, and they're interesting for the, for the audience to hear about what actually went on. How important is it to recognize the contribution of these people, especially the three member inductees last night? Well, the importance in that is that, that you know, people do a lot in this organization and there's a lot of criticism. Seldom do we ever say thank you enough. And the, the Members Hall of Fame is an award that you can't win. It has to be bestowed. It's bestowed because you've done something beyond the ordinary for this organization. And it's important that we always honor the people that do that. You know, recognition for what you do, it doesn't matter who you are. You like for somebody to say, hey, that was a good job. And what we're saying to those guys, hey, that was an exceptional job that you did for us. And particularly because most of the things that they had done was bring about some difficult changes for the long-term benefit of the industry. So, you know, they really put in the hard yards. Well, what last night almost turned into was cleaning up. And and, and when I say that, uh, we went back and we looked at the riders that had been missed for one reason or another that actually had about the same credentials of many of the older riders. Back before 1997, we really didn't have criteria and it was really kind of a, who do you think should be in there? So we tried to fix that. And then with with the, those past presidents, uh, for some reason, you know, we've always just gone on who wrote the letters and asked. Well, we looked up and this year we had letters and. Uh, asking that we put those guys in the Hall of Fame and they're three of our, of our ex-presidents who truly deserved to be there and had just been passed over. I don't know, I don't think it was intentional, it just had been passed over and it was fun to, to, to gather up the guys that had made the hard calls and, and Sam and, and James were in a tough spot because we, the economy wasn't good and the association was weak at the office and, and, and they really had to perform to, to pull us through. And on a personal level, you know, you have been in the industry with these guys for a long time, they're friends. How did it feel to be a part of um, giving them recognition? Well, that's, that's the pleasure that, you know, it, it was so much fun for me to, to get to be the guy that, that led the, the thank you, uh, that, that led them into the, to the Members Hall of Fame. It was a lot of fun for me to do that. Oh, you did a great job. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.